Hello, my name is Zach Gibbs, and I'm a content developer within Education Services inside Juniper Networks. And today we will be going through the seamless eVPN VXLAN stitching overlay learning byte. All right, so here is our topology. In here, there's a few things I want to point out. Uh, we have four devices we're working with that is Leaf 1, Spine 1, Spine 2, and Leaf 3. Now, notice that Leaf 1 and Spine 1 are a part of DC1, which is a separate data center, and Leaf 3 and Spine 2 are a part of DC2, which is a different data center as well. And we're going to be setting up seamless EVP and VXLAN stitching to stitch these two data centers together with a data center interconnect and get host one and host two communicating together. With this learning byte, we're focusing on the overlay network and configuring and verifying that the overlay network is working. And then with other learning bytes, we'll have uh, the configuration and verification of seamless EVP and VXLAN stitching. And there is a different learning byte that goes over configuring the underlay configuration as well. So if you haven't looked at those other learning bytes, highly recommend you go check those out. Okay, so what do we want to do here? Well, we have the overlay network, right, that we're configuring, and then we also have the underlay network. We have the loopback addresses that you see here on the left for spine one, two, and leaf one, and leaf three. And then we have the fabric link addresses, the host addresses, which really don't matter for here, and then we have the service provider links, that information, uh, which really isn't too important for our overlay network configuration. With the overlay configuration, we do have, or we will be configuring eBGP. And with that, that means each device is going to have its own autonomous system. And so that'll be very important. Leaf 1 uses AS65991. Spine 1 uses AS65101. Spine 2 uses AS65102. And Leaf 3 uses AS65992. So that'll be very important when we're configuring the overlay network. Now, the underlay network also uses eBGP, but it has a completely different set of autonomous system numbers for that for each device. Okay, so with that, let's go ahead and jump to the CLI and get this going. All right, so here is the CLI for Leaf 1. And what we need to do here is jump into configuration mode and then go to protocols BGP. Recall that we're going to be configuring eBGP. So we need to go into a BGP group and this one's going to be called dc one overlay. And well, before we do that, I do want to show what we currently have in here. We have the underlay group that is configured and functioning. And we're passing around the loopback addresses and only the necessary loopback addresses. That's very important for the underlay network with seamless EVP and VXLAN stitching. Okay, so with that, let's go ahead and configure this group. We need to set the type to external. And then we need to use multi-hop. And why do we need to use multi-hop? Well, we're going to be peering with the loopback addresses to create the overlay network with BGP. So multi-hop is required since it's not gonna be a direct connection with a physical interface. And then we need to set the local address, which is going to be the loopback address of leaf one here. And then we need to set the family eVPN signaling. And because what we're doing in the overlay network is we're going to be passing eVPN routes in the overlay network. So that's very important. And then we need to configure the peer AS. So this is going to be 65101. So that'll be spine one that leaf one is pairing with. And then we need to set our local AS, which is the local AS for leaf one, the local AS for the overlay network, that is. And then we need to set the pairing neighbor, which is going to be the loopback address for spine one. And so there's that configuration. Let's go ahead and commit the configuration. And then we can move on to Spine 1 and configure the overlay network there. So here is Spine 1. Let's jump into configuration mode. Go to BGP. You can see here we do have the underlay network. We have the DC1 underlay network and the DCI underlay network. So we're going to have to configure two BGP groups here. We're going to configure one overlay for DC1 and one overlay for the DCI. And so let's get started here. We're going to, uh, first we need to go into the BGP group, of course. And this is going to be the DC1 overlay group. And then we're going to set the type to external and also multi-hop since we're doing uh, loopback pairing. 
And then we need to set the local address to the loopback address of Spine1. And then, of course, we need to set family eVPN signaling. Then we need to set the peer AS of 65991. That is the AS, the overlay AS of Leaf1. And then the local AS of 65101. And that is the configuration for that group. But we're not done yet. We need to configure that other BGP group. And so we'll go up one, edit group DCI overlay. And DCI kind of looks similar to DC1 with the font here, with the terminal session. So keep that in mind. There is a difference here. And then we need a set type external. And then we need to do multi-hop as well, since we are doing that loop back pairing. And then we set the local address to 192.168.100.1. That is, again, the loopback address for Spine1. And then family eVPN signaling. And then we set the peer AS 65102. That is the overlay AS for Spine2. And then local AS, again, we set it to the local AS, the overlay AS for Spine1, which is 65101. And then we commit the configuration. And then we can jump to Spine2 and do our configuration there. All right, so here is Spine2. And we need to, of course, jump into configuration mode. And then go to Protocols BGP. We can look at the underlay configuration here. We have the DC2 underlay configuration and the DCI underlay configuration. So let's go ahead and configure the overlay configuration. So we can configure the group. I will call this DC2 dash overlay. Set the type to external. And of course, we have to use multi hop, just like what we're doing on the other devices. And then we set the local address to the loopback address, spine two. And then we set the peer AS, which is going to be 65992. So this is the Overlay AS of Leaf 3. And then local AS, which is the overlay AS of Spine 2, is 65102. Then we set the neighbor of 192.168.100.13. And that is the loopback address of Leaf 3. And I just realized I forgot to configure the neighbor addresses for uh, the Spine 1 configuration. So let me jump back there real quick. I can't believe I forgot to configure that. But we just need to configure simply the, uh, the neighbor address. So the DCA, DCI overlay, we need to configure the neighbor address, the loopback address of spine uh, 2. So that's going to be 100.2. And then we need to configure the DC1 overlay, which is going to be a neighbor of the loopback address of leaf1, which is 182.168.100.11. And then commit that configuration. Uh, sorry about that. I can't believe I spaced that out. Okay, so back to Spine 2. And so Spine 2 here, we've configured the DC2 overlay. And so now we need to configure the DCI underlay. And so with that, what we need to do is get to the BGP group first. DCI overlay. Set the type to external. Multi-hop again. If I can spell multi-hop, there we go. Set the local address, which is going to be the loopback address of Spine2. And then we set the peer AS, 65101, and the local AS, 65, 65102. So peer AS, 65101, is the overlay AS of Spine1, and local AS of 65102 is the local overlay AS for spine two. And then we need to, need to set the neighbor. That is the loopback address of spine one. Okay, so leaf three, next we need to configure leaf three. And there's just going to be the one BGP group here since it is a leaf. We see two dash overlay. And then we need to set the type to external. 
get multi hop and set the local address that is the loopback address of leaf3 then also set the family evpn signaling we set the peer as which in our case is 65102 which is the as for spine2 and the local as of 65992, which is, of course, the AS for LEAF3. Then we set the neighbor, which is going to be the loopback address of Spine2. And then we should be good to go there. And I did forget another thing on Spine2, getting in a little too much of a hurry here. I forgot to configure the uh, family EVP and signaling for the two overlay groups. So let's go ahead and do that now. And then for the DCI overlay group, and commit that configuration. And then we'll jump back to Leaf 1, and we'll have a look at the BGP sessions. And you can see here that although we are not receiving any routes, no EVPN routes, nothing like that, we do have the BGP session that is established. And then if we go to Spine 1, it should be very similar. We have the two overlay networks, the first two you see here are the underlay networks. And then we have their two overlay networks. No routes are being passed. And that's fine because we haven't configured any eVPN parameters yet. We go to spine two. Again, we have the two overlay sessions. That's perfect. That's what we want to see. No routes being passed. And leaf three. We have the one underlay session and then the one overlay session. And again, the routes, there's no routes to be passed yet, but that's exactly what we want to see at this point of the game. All right, so that does bring us to the end of this learning byte. In this learning byte, we demonstrated how to configure and verify the overlay network for seamless eVPN VXLAN stitching. So as always, thanks for watching. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses, learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths, Juniper Networks certification program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence, and the training community. From forums to social media, join the discussion.